has called off Toronto's game against the Chicago Bulls tonight. It is the very first Raptors game that has been rescheduled due to COVID-19 health and safety protocols, and it comes after the team largely managed to dodge the pandemic this season. The Toronto Raptors had been one of just four teams in the league with no game postponements until tonight. In a statement, the league said because of positive test results and ongoing contact tracing within the Raptors, the team will not have the league required eight available players for the game. Obviously, all of us as fans are disappointed anytime uh, a game is cancelled. But to fans following games closely, it comes as no surprise. You knew there was something going on sort of behind the scenes with the team. Bucket and bucket. Oh, rack it up, Davey Leeds. Up you in. The Raptors have been monitoring a potential outbreak since last week. And at their game on Friday, the team was missing head coach Nick Nurse, five members of his staff, and star forward Pascal Siakam. We still don't know if, uh, if Pascal Siakam has been, has tested positive, but we, there are reports that he's been ruled out for the rest of the games this week. So... Uh, that would suggest that it's something more than an, an inconclusive test. Players and staff are tested regularly, and while this is Toronto's first rescheduled game, it is the 30th this season league-wide. When you're, you're trying to play live sports in a, in a worldwide pandemic, it's, uh, there's going to be some hiccups along the way. 30 rescheduled games may sound like a lot, but in fact, it's only a small percentage of games played, and insiders agree the league has done an excellent job containing virus spread so far. When you consider that we're basically halfway through the schedule and a 30 team league has only had 31 games postponed so far. I think that's actually a pretty good record when you consider, uh, you know, the prevalence of the virus throughout the U.S. The teams have been traveling throughout the U.S. to play this season, with the Raptors playing home games in Tampa, Florida because of border restrictions. There are strict protocols in place. Players and staff are limited in what they can do and who they can see. And any player who does test positive, even if asymptomatic, will not be allowed to play for at least 10 days or they must test negative twice, at least 24 hours apart. The league attempting the more traditional approach this season after completing last season in the Orlando bubble. Uh, to play an entire season in a confined area, uh, away from home, away from family, uh, was just untenable. The Raptors' next game is scheduled for Tuesday against Detroit, but we'll have to wait and see if that does happen. In the meantime, Raptors players and staff are quarantining at home. They're also being tested twice a day. And the league does have contingency plans in place, so they did leave enough time to reschedule all of these postponed games.